The right place to see the Northern Lights is a place that most Americans don't go to. It's called the Faroe Islands, F-A-R-O-E. Faroe Islands you can get to either from Iceland or from Denmark. It's an amazing place, and it won't be crowded, and you'll have a, an amazing experience with the Northern Lights. And I ha already have a question that, why do you call yourself a travel investigator? Did you not hear my speech? Yes, I did. <laughs> Then you know, but you, uh, I call myself the travel detective is because I'm not talking about lovely London or beautiful Bermuda. Anybody can tell you that. The question is while you're going to London and the airline lost your bag or the, or the hotel has no record of your reservation or the cab driver took you for a 40 mile ride into town when it should have been two, hopefully I've given you all the information ahead of time and the questions you need to ask and to whom so that none of that stuff ever happens to you. That's what I do. So um, it, this just happened because you experienced something or you just planned it to go that way? No, no, no. I've been traveling as a news correspondent all my professional life. I travel over 420,000 miles each year, so I better know how to do it. Yes. So that's how it started. Oh, okay. So, uh, sir, um, what is your experience in the travel and, and uh, this travel and adventure show? You know, how long have you been participating in this and where all have you traveled with this? Well, I've done this show a number of years now. Uh, this year, I think I'm doing all eight. Uh, this is the last of the eight. Uh, so last week, we were in Denver, and, and then, uh, no, Philadelphia last week, and then Denver before that. Uh, it's a great show because it gives people information. Even though people are here selling things, they're, they're, people have a chance to make uh, in, in intelligent choices. And they, and they can actually gauge things against their own personal experience and against their own abilities. And um, anytime you have an information-driven show, count me in. That'll be a pleasure. We are an Indian, I'm an Indian internet radio, you know, mostly, you know, we have talk shows and, and I do a show myself. My girlfriend was from Hyderabad. Oh, wow. He's oh, okay. And she lives, and she lives in Houston now. Oh, wow. Well, I myself do a show which is based on, you know, cultural activities happening all over the India because I'm from India. So I could relate it with the festivals and special festivals and fairs happening. Have you traveled to India and what do you think about that? Now, if I just got finished telling you that my ex-girlfriend is from Hyderabad, do you think I've been to India? Absolutely. Absolutely. And Hyderabad. Yes, and I've been to many other places. The, the, the real problem with India is it's so big uh -huh. and it's so massive. I can spend the rest of my life traveling through India and I will still see this much of it. It's so amazing, you know, Kerala and, and, and all the beaches and, and, of course, Mumbai and where? Oh, well, Goa, where all the crazy American hippies are still hanging out, right? Come on. Um, Indian hippies, too. Indian hippies, too. Uh, but all those places, for me, uh, are special uh, because in the world of hospitality, uh, I, I put India on the same par as my friends in Thailand. They have refined and defined hospitality. And you, you feel very special when you go because everybody is so nice to you. So uh, lastly- You don't deserve to be that nice to me. I don't deserve it, but it is. You've been criticizing them? I've, no, I've, no I've, been, I've been spoiled by them. They're great, oh, yeah. Absolutely, well, we spoil everyone, definitely. So what is your most favorite destination in the whole wide world? I mean, you travel so much, I'm sure it must be very difficult to pick one. It's very difficult to pick one, but my criteria might surprise you. My favorite place in the world, and I've got about 20 of them, is wherever I sleep the best. Because where you sleep the best, you think the best. Where you think the best, you create the best. Where you create the best, you love the best. You experience the best. But it all starts with where you sleep the best. So that is the criteria, but what is that destination where you sleep the I best? I had 20 of them. Oh, okay. And I'm not going to... I No, the reason why I'm not going to give you a couple because I sleep the best there. If I tell you, then you wake me up. <laughs> You're dreaming. <laughs> right. Yes. But everybody has one. Uh, you have one. Your cameraman has one. Everybody has that place where they sleep the best, and you protect that place. That's the place you want to go back to. What would be your last message for my radio? Well, my last message is uh, the one five-letter word that you should take out of your vocabulary when it comes to travel or anything else is later. Get rid of that word. Because every time you use it in a sentence, you either don't do it as well, or even worse, you don't do it at all.